Good morning. So we are here in Place de Vosges. This is where I have been working out a lot of the days while I'm here in Paris. And I'm just going to run you through some of the moves that I do in parks, just with a park bench, no other workout equipment, to stay uh, fit and healthy and toned while I am out traveling around. Um, I do this, you know, in the mornings, we always love to like explore new parts of the city. So we're walking a lot, but then sometimes when we see a park bench, we will stop, do some workout moves and then keep on going. So so uh, you guys voted just to see a simplified version, just the actual moves that I do. So I'm going to do that now. Let's get into it. Okay, so the first one, I don't actually need the bench. Um, this one is kind of a slow one. So you tap the ground and then hop to keep our um, you know, heart rate going. And this one is about being slow, bending down and you're working out this leg and you hop. So on the other side it would look like this, slowly bending down and hop, reach and hop and this one just really like switches on the glute muscles, hop, hop, you can do a few on each side, maybe like 10 on one side, 10 on the other and then keep going. Okay so the next one also without the bench is walking lunges and these ones are phenomenal for the glutes. I always feel it the next day so just wherever I am I can just start doing some lunges. Really good. It doesn't matter like how much space that you have you can get in a few. I like to normally do 10 across and 10 the other way and I would do that for a few minutes. Fabulous move. Okay, so it is hard often to get some good ones for the abs, but this one, simple, easy bench leg lifts. So you just find a bench, a ledge, and lift up. To make it even harder, you could take your hands off, but I'm not up to that level. <laughs> Okay, so this one is a, another like cardio one. After you've done a few sitting benches ones, you kind of, I like to get up and get my cardio going. So this one's just ice skaters. You can do this anywhere, jump in the air, touch the ground, and that works out the glute that you're bending. Just like that. So this one, is great for your underarm getting that tone. Straight leg makes it harder and tricep dips. So good. You can do it anywhere. If that's too hard you can make it significantly easier by bending the legs but that's quite easy. This way you really feel the burn in the back of your arms. Okay, so this one is for the glutes on the bench, donkey kicks. So a simple donkey kick, always try to keep your core in, don't let it drop, keep it in. So I do about 10 on this position and then I'll go into the fire hydrant style. Do some on that position. making sure the leg is burning. And then I would flip over and do the other leg. Okay, so this one is a gray one for the glutes and for your heart rate. It's like an elevated version of a step up, okay? So you go Step up for this leg, down, and then lunge. So you are in fact working both sides at the same time. So step up, and then that leg goes back and lunges. Step up, which is fantastic for your heart rate and for the glutes. You can do this anywhere, you know, by the sand on the river, there's ledges and things. 
and then you would alternate your leg other one step up and then lunge back really good one both glutes working make sure you alternate with them so this one is for the abs and the arms if you don't want to be doing push-ups on the floor you don't have to go like this I can't do a push-up completely I do the girl push-ups plank and then up so that works your abs and your arms at the same time and I do all my planks on this side because if I do it the other way I'll fall, I'll fall off the bench <laughs> so then I will flip around and do the other side okay so this one is a really hard one I've only recently thought of this one or discovered this one but step downs on a bench so you start up high and then you step down and the goal would be to not touch the floor like go as close as you can and then come back up and you're really working that leg that bends but I can't quite get down that far so I kind of just kind of lightly touch the ground and come up you're still really working the leg for sure so step down so obviously going as slow as you possibly can you'll feel burn even more and then on the other side so another one for the abs to the end of the bench you can do leg drops you can do single leg drops many variations slower the more you feel it especially at the bottom there come back up slowly okay so another one for the abs I like to do while I'm out and about is the bicycle one. Just keep moving. Elbow to opposite knee and just keep that going. So I hope you liked those ideas for you to do while you're moving around on holidays. The fountain just turns on, it turns on at nine on the dot. But obviously, wherever you are, you may have a different type of bench to what I worked out with. I'm always using whatever's around. So some of those moves might not work exactly for that bench, but you know, hopefully there's enough ideas there for you to you know, experiment with, build on, create your own ideas from it. But as long as you're you know, 20 minutes, getting some like heart rate up, using the muscles, activating the muscles, you know, when we're on holiday, we kind of like let them die off a little bit um, I like to just make sure they're getting toned you may not be building like extra muscles but I just don't want the others to the ones I have to die off <laughs> thank you for watching uh, please subscribe for more videos from me on my travels um, I'm in Paris for a few more weeks now and yeah see you on the next one thanks <laughs>